Should have had Dad sit in on this one. Oh, we should have. <laughs> Who would have thought of that? <laughs> he could have given us the definitive opinion. That's right, because he's been uh, enjoying this for quite some time. I wonder if he's been caught up in the vortex. <laughs> I don't know. Another, <laughs> another good question on this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And uh, today the beverage we are about is something, honestly, we have never done on the history of about beverages, this genre. We've talked about doing like a podcast with this theme, but it just kind of has never uh, materialized. But once again, we were, uh, you know, graciously, graciously. I mean, I, I think, I think Charlie, least. Charlie must just be going through his fridge <laughs> and looking for things that we, that we haven't tried, which I totally appreciate. And, and this once again goes to prove that we will try anything. Yes, it does pretty much yes. uh, when it comes to a, a beverage hot on the heels of bubble vodka. This is uh, the classic great taste, less filling of Miller light. Great taste, less filling. Great taste. Oh, no. Less fi- Oh, I also love the easy opening can. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be either of those things. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's a bomb. That's right. So this is a Pilsner taste. This is what they're calling it. Mm-hmm. And they're saying it is triple hops brewed. Triple but here's hops. the uh, interesting thing. Miller, the geniuses that they are, you know what they said? They said, you know what? We've got money for R&D. Should we put it into a great tasting beer? Or... We could put grooves on the inside of the of the bottle's neck. A kitschy novelty sort of thing, yes. Yes, and uh, they chose the latter. Yeah. So we're going to find out if that actually helps out the taste of this beer. Yep. Helping it come out really fast so that it can... Uh, now, because that's probably actually what it's made. We're actually going to pour it into a glass. Right. So maybe that's already defeated the purpose of the Vortex. Oh, my God. Would that be tricky drinking right out of the bottle? I don't know. Like I was, <laughs> I could make you dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe like I said, that's probably the idea is like, well, I didn't taste anything. It was great. Yeah. I loved it. It was refreshing. And you tried to find out more information about this, didn't you? At their website. I did because we always do research on even something like this. I want to learn as much as I can about it. I don't want to come at this from a standpoint of completely just putting something down without any kind of uh, facts behind me. So I went to their website, clicked on all their links. And they have a link that takes you to, you know, learn about the Vortex technology. So I did. And it takes me to a Facebook page, which is fine. Their Facebook fan page. And it has a video on it and this cool, like, computer-looking thing. And it's like, you know, click to enter and learn about the Vortex. So I clicked on the link, and it brings up a little red button, kind of like the HAL 2000-looking button from uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And it says, What are you doing, Andrew? <laughs> yeah. Don't you like the Vortex? Don't you like Miller Lite, Andrew? <laughs> we know where you live. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> they know my IP address. <laughs> this is highly irregular. <laughs> <laughs> Are they talking about me now or the beer? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Kind of kind of running out of uh, <laughs> what they're talking about. But anyway, so clicked on the link. It's access denied. So to actually watch this video, I'm like clicking on things like nothing's working. I'm like, well, this is weird. I'm like, what am I not doing? I look on the side of the page and I see like 500,000 people love Miller Lite, which I'm not surprised by. I'm like, but that still seems a little high. So I finally see a little link that says you need to click the like button to watch this video. So I have to say that I like the product before I can even learn about it. That's kind of the... That's backwards. That's like the most backwards like marketing. I mean, I understand why marketing yeah. people do this kind of garbage, but it was just like, great. So let's go ahead and uh, open this one up. We've bashed, right. we've bashed it enough right That's here true. to start. That's true. That's true. I brought in a bottle opener, but then I just realized I probably don't need it, right? Aren't these usually twists off? Usually, but never know with a vortex. Usually I think of... That might, there might be so much power of, in here that it, they, maybe it they just, need to actually use it. Watch out. Don't, don't point that at me. Is Usually it, when I think of Vortex, I think of Sedona and you know spiritual places and things like that. So Not an American Pilsner? Not an American Pilsner. Okay. okay. And it did. It was a twist off. Twist off. Okay. Okay. And this says... Uh, it actually has a... I don't know if some Does sort of born on date on there or something. instructions? I know. I'm kind of scared. I'm, I'm going to do this away from your computer in case uh, okay. it comes out. Yeah, right near the soundboard. It poured out... Pretty much the same. Hey, why did that Vortex thing fall into the glass? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> That'd be like the widget from the Guinness bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Ah, uh, this is Miller's widget. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Miller's widget. <laughs> that sounds like something from a fantasy book. All right, I'm going to finish we the port. We must find Miller's widget. <laughs> it's the precious. <laughs> the precious Miller's widget. This is what Lord of the Rings was looking for. Cream fresh. Okay. Cream, cream fresh. All right, All right I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the pour here, and you're going to tell me exactly what you see in the glass. I see beer coming out. It's uh, the looks like the commercial light yellow, very uh, lots of head actually. There's a vortex yeah. head. 
Yeah, Vortex Head. Okay, I'm reaching my, uh, since I've poured out the beer and no one else is going to go for this, I'm reaching actually my finger inside the bottle. And you, and you can feel the uh, ridges or ribs in here because it must be for my drinking it's, pleasure. It's ribbed for our pleasure. <laughs> it's ribbed right. for my drinking pleasure. <laughs> it's, uh, you can slice your fingers. Oh, my God, they're, they're razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go into the Vortex. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's just the bottles made that. Oh, okay, I thought there was actually something in there. No, 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 no. It's, it's just the inside of the, the bottle inside has of the, been manufactured. The glass, actually, yeah. It's like oh, swirl. So, yes, it is ribbed for our drinking pleasure. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. And a res- and a little place for our extra beer to go. There's a reservoir tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what, but that head has stayed around for a while. Okay, st- sturdy head out of this Miller Lite. What uh, yes. what would you say for the color? Clear, very light yellow. If I took apple juice and mixed it with water, yes, you'd have this. You'd have this. A very very light yellow, slightly golden yellow color, but very bright yellow. You know what? We didn't go over some of the stats on this. Let's do that very quickly. Okay. Um, 4.2% alcohol by Correct. volume. 96 right. calories, 3.2 grams of carbs, uh, less than one gram of protein, and no fat. Do you know what also has about 110 calories? What? Guinness. Really? Yeah. Again, a nice big can? Yes. Wow. Pick your poison. Okay. All right. So let's go for the aroma here. I'm going to conjure up one of our spring and summer beer terms. It smells like ballpark. It smells like, you know, very light beer. Corn or wheat? Something Probably. I don't know, some sort of grain kind of sour, sour grain kind of smell, like wet, like wet wheat. All right, this is uh, the anticipation is building, and you know I don't want to cause any bad things to happen to my health. So should we try? Let's do it. Let's analyze this. Let's be. Let's do this accurately. There's hardly anything. There. Water. Mm-hmm. I would say like a lemon sour. Okay. <laughs> and carbonation. <laughs> yes. And left with nothing. Correct. A little salty, like for some reason my mouth yeah, is watering mouth a little water bit. A little bit, yeah. Super thin body. That's why I said water. And like, yeah, just some sort. It just kind of lights up the lighter notes of the sour bar, like a, like a lemon lime. You know, maybe maybe more toward a lime than a lemon. Yeah, actually, kind of more like a lime, kind of that kind of a sour. You know, that brightness, and then it's yeah, it's it's literally just gone. You're using all your creative juices to <laughs> to uh, try to paint a picture, <laughs> to paint the. Uh, Taste picture of what's going on in there. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm sweating. <laughs> I got some beads forming here. I'm, yeah. I'm sweating. But but I mean, there there are some flavors there. There, I mean, it's, there it's, is. It's not like it's not like it's it's not like it's it's nothing. At the same time, there are other beers out there that are going to be around the same calorie content. The carbs might be a little bit different one way or the other. So I'm not right. gonna you know. But calorie wise and alcohol wise, as we did with our session beer podcast, which you can also listen to on the website at aboutbeverages.com. There's so many other beers out there with that amount of alcohol content and so much more flavor. If that's something you're into is like tasting and enjoying the flavors that life has to offer, then why would you do this? It's just all about dollars, right? I guess, you know, I guess maybe if I consume, you know, three beers a day, maybe I wouldn't buy as many of the stones and dogfishes and all these other different in Avery's and stuff of the world. You know, maybe that's where I fall out of it to some extent, but it's like, I'd rather drink one beer a day, but it's something that's really tasty and flavorful and I enjoy and think about it than four of these. There are people also too, like dad, who this is what he wants in a beer, something light and crisp and refreshing, and he doesn't want to drink straight water. So this is a step or two up from that. Yeah, I he guess he doesn't want to drink soda because yeah. of all the sugars. So then you have that, and there's nothing. There's, that's not necessarily anything no. Wrong that's just with pers- that. yeah. It just comes down to a personal choice option yeah. of what you want to, you know, where you want to put your dollars and yeah. what you want to get out of them. Right. And you know, like I said, yeah. And once again, if I then if I'm going to if put I have the need for that many, into my body, a poison. Right, that's something toxic. There's nothing that to alcohol is toxic. No way around it. Your right, liver works very hard to get rid of anything poisonous you put in, and, and we thank it so and, much. And, yeah, no, and uh, <laughs> so if I'm going to put alcohol into my body, I'm going to, me personally, I'm going to in- really enjoy the taste. Yeah, and I don't really enjoy that taste. So that's just me. And speaking of taste, you can head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com and uh, check out the tasting notes for this Miller Lite Vortex, along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. While you're there, you can sign up for our email subscription and uh, make sure that you get all the notices about when we put up some new articles, if uh, new uh, things for the sessions about beverages section of our website, new podcasts, all that stuff will go right in your inbox and uh, let you know when you need to come and check things out. But you should be there all the time anyway, but it's just a little friendly reminder. That's correct. All right. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a swirl in the vortex. (laughs) 